Welcome to the Relationship Workout for Men podcast. This episode is just a preview of what you'll find in the full Relationship Fitness for Men program. If you're serious about building a stronger, happier relationship, check out relationshipfitness.com to access all episodes, plus tools to assess and improve the quality of your relationship and your very own on-demand and private AI relationship coach. Visit relationshipfitness.com to learn more. Welcome to Relationship Workout for Many, a podcast dedicated to helping men be intentional in choosing a better partner and being a better partner for the person they choose. Season 14, Episode 1, Plan Your Game Plan. Now that you have the Relationship Workout Communication Basics under your belt that we covered in Season 13, it's time to get your communications game plan in order as we continue to explore answering the Relationship Workout Core Number 12 Communication Fundamental Question, Can You Two Discuss and Resolve Issues Without Drama? I'd argue that at a high level, regardless of the issue, the objective of any conversation in your relationship where some sort of resolution needs to be made is always the same. One, you want to resolve the issue, meaning the issue no longer comes up again for either one of you. You want to resolve the issue fairly, meaning you both feel comfortable with the resolution. And you want to resolve the issue fairly with minimal drama, meaning you've both minimized the amount of time spent triggered and attacking each other and limit the number of negative emotions surrounding the issue. Said again, when you need to have what might be a difficult conversation, your objective should be to resolve the issue fairly with little to no drama. After all, if in the future you can resolve all your issues in a mutually agreeable way with little to no conflict and drama, then how could you not state your relationship is strong in terms of communications? And it's not too much of a stretch to say that happy long-term relationships are built on strong communications as a foundation. Yeah, but often easier said than done, right? Resolving all issues fairly with little to no drama, that is, because especially when it comes to the most difficult of conversations. To help make this easier, in this season, we'll discuss 10 communication skills that if you can put into practice could very well make difficult conversations easier for you and your partner. Many you may already be great at, but my hope is you may also find at least a few you might realize, well, they could use some improvement. I know that's the case for me. In any case, here are the 10 communication skills I think everyone would do well to be good to great at when it comes to being a stronger communicator in your intimate relationships. One, hang with your wisdom. By becoming neither defensive nor judgmental, learn to breathe and not to let the current life situation trigger some demon inside of you, transforming you from a nice guy to a subtle or avert ass, to be quite honest. Often, these demons show themselves through defensiveness. Put another way, don't take what's being said personally, a sure path to blocking effective communications. Skill number two, set the cooperation intention. You're on the same team and care about each other. Remind each other of this before engaging and throughout the conversation, especially if things start going sideways. Skill number three, be aware of your communication style. Nonverbal cues can speak volumes. Make sure you're aware of which ones you're communicating. Skill number four, learn each of your patterns when triggered. Learn how you both behave when dancing with each of your demons. Become skilled at seeing these patterns and speaking to them when they appear. Skill number five, stay in the present moment. Accept what is. Don't let fear of what might happen or dwelling on past pain ruin what you have right now. Skill number six, keep it safe to tell the truth. Don't attack the other person for speaking his or her truth. Maintain a safe environment for honesty to be shared. Skill number seven, know what to talk about. Know what topics to cover to have an effective conversation. We'll devote all of season 15 to discuss 10 of these topics and by all means, tell the truth. Skill number eight, have an effective conversation. Let each person share his or her point of view openly without interruptions and without judgment. Be curious and listen. Skill number nine, resolve the issue by being creative and open. 
All the information is now on the table. It's time to roll up your sleeves and come up with a creative solution. Maintain both of your gumption levels until final resolution is reached. And skill number 10, keep your commitments. Okay, so you both have come up with a cool, mutually agreeable resolution. Now keep your commitment and execute on what you agree to. I will say in all honesty, mastering all 10 of these skills is not easy, but stick with it. Every bit of improvement in your effectiveness as a communicator can help to improve not only your relationship, but also your quality of life. So over the next 10 episodes, we'll explore each one of these skills in more detail. Starting with relationship workout communication skill number one, hang with your wisdom, the topic of our next episode. Thanks for listening. To listen to all episodes in this season, visit relationshipfitness.com. There you'll find not only a complete library of episodes, but also aligned playbook articles, tools designed to help you assess, improve, and manage the quality of your relationship, and your very own AI relationship coach to get private, on-demand coaching whenever you need it. Go to relationshipfitness.com to start transforming your relationship today for more fun and less drama.